do yourself a favor. If you find yourself ever getting caught up in the delusion that the biggest marks, biggest crybabies, thinnest skin wusses involved with professional wrestling are either the wrestling fans or the wrestling media, full stop. Full stop now. The biggest marks, the thinnest skinned wussy crybabies involved with professional wrestling are the people in professional wrestling. This is not a new phenomenon. It is just getting worse all the time. Don't agree. That's fine. I don't care. Enjoy being wrong. And yet the most recent example of this played out Sunday night after all out at this media scrum, which on the surface, you're like, okay, this is part of the presentation. This is part of the act. The dirt sheet people and the journalists don't realize that they're in on the act. They're in on the work, whatever. But something different for the presentation. But maybe there's also a reason you don't do these things all the time. Because, oh my God, what an unmitigated disaster. Instead of talking about the show, instead of talking about the things that happen, instead of talking about the big return of your homegrown star, MJF, we're talking about drama. That's what we're talking about here. That's not good on any frickin' level. And everybody involved with this whole situation, whether that's CM Punk, that's the Elite, specifically the Bucks and Kenny Omega, and Tony Khan, all look like stupid Mark morons here. The whole damn lot of them. Who's to blame? Who's the most wrong? It doesn't matter. They all are. Let's start with CM Punk. You just got done winning the AEW World Championship. You are sitting next to your boss, the guy that is paying you a shit ton of money. And instead of showing respect to him, showing respect to the other talent, showing respect to the company, the championship, the fans, the business, you pull that shit on Sunday night? Unprovoked, unprompted? You are a fucking tool. You always have been, and you only get worse as you get older, apparently. Let me get this straight. You're going to get mad because of something that Hangman Page said in a promo months ago. Because he went into business for himself. As you go into business for yourself at the media scrum. You freaking hypocrite! And frankly, what Hangman Page said there, was it really that bad? I'm not trying to defend Page here. He's probably a moron too. He is part of the elite after all. So signs point to yes. So you can dish it out if you're CM Punk, all the work, shoot, crap, and so forth. But somebody does it to you, all of a sudden it's a big freaking problem. Typical bully pulpit crap. As soon as somebody throws something in kind in your face, then you've got a problem with it. But again, you're going to be mad at Hangman Page going into business for himself when you did the same thing. And it's worse because you're making your boss look like a jackass. The company look like idiots. The fuck is wrong with you, dude? And all of this beef with the freaking elite and basically intentionally trying to target Nick Houseman, I think it was, from Wrestling Inc. Like, how disrespectful is that? It doesn't matter if what a lot of what CM Punk said is true. I happen to agree. A lot of what he said is absolutely true. That doesn't mean it was right to say it. There's a time and a place, and that sure as hell wasn't the time or the place. You should be using that press conference to talk about how great it is to be the AEW champion, how much you love the company, how much the company is meant to you. Trying to get heat on MJF. You know the things you would do if you're actually trying to make money in the fucking wrestling business. 
I sit there and talk about some backstage drama. Unbelievably ridiculous. CM Punk looked like a frickin' tool on Sunday night. What an idiot. And then you've got the elite. Did it sting what he said? Truth hurts sometimes, doesn't it? Now, I think it's bullshit when he says that they don't know fuck all. You know, when he sits there and disrespects them. Keep in mind that without the elite, you probably don't have an AEW. Like, I don't like the Bucks of Suck at all. Kenny Omega, I'm kind of in eh on. Sometimes he's okay to me. Sometimes he aggravates me more than the Bucks of Suck do, frankly. But they're not going to sit there and pretend like they've had no impact on wrestling. To say that is total and complete dumb shit. But if you're the Bucks, you validate the criticism from CM Punk when you're supposed to be executive vice presidents. You should be fucking acting like executive vice presidents. You don't go backstage because somebody said some words that hurt my feelings and want to start a damn brawl with the dude. The hell is wrong with you? And I think about this with CM Punk. And I think about this with the elite. You guys actually make good money in wrestling. People actually care about you. The fuck do you look like possibly fumbling your bag over Colt damn Cabana? I don't mean any disrespect to Colt Cabana, Scott Colton, but golly. Really? That's what you're going to potentially fumble your bag over? Going to get yourself suspended, lose money, potentially put your job at risk? Because of some dumb shit that happened years ago with Colt Cabana? I see him Punk sitting there going to the lengths that he did. Even if they were accurate, he looked like a fucking petty-ass child. Sitting there talking about Colt Cabana having a joint bank account with his mama. I actually probably agree with him in the sense of he probably wants fuck all to do with Colt Cabana. And probably told Tony Khan, if I could envision, says I just don't want any part of him, keep him away from me. You take that to mean what it means. And the Bucks and Omega and all of that, I understand maybe Colt Cabana is your dude, you've known him for years, you've worked with him, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you got to put the business before the brohood here. You're getting into fights and getting suspended over fucking Colt Cabana at the end of the day. You look like idiots. And then, who looks like the biggest idiot of all here is Tony Khan. This is why you can't buddy up to the boys, Tony. You have to be the boss of the boys. When CM Punk's doing that during your media scrum, you either cut him off, you tell him to shut the fuck up, or you kick him out of your goddamn media scrum. That's the first thing. This whole thing went down as a direct result of Tony Khan's lack of action. Wanting to sit there and be a mark for himself and being a mark for what he's got here with AEW. Having to just put himself front and center in the damn media scrum. Well, if you're going to be there, then be a presence. Don't let CM Punk cut you off. Fuck him. You're the boss. You're the reason he's making the seven figures a year that he's making. Fuck him. And if he doesn't like it, you don't need him. And frankly, the same thing with the elite. Nobody should be bigger than the brand. Nobody should be bigger than the company. Everybody, and I mean everybody, is replaceable. You are supposed to be the owner. You are supposed to be the big man on campus, the head mother referee in charge. Act like it. I hope this teaches you a valuable lesson, Tony, about the importance of you can have a bond with the boys and the gals, but there has to be a line drawn at some point, And there has to be some demarcation at some moment that draws the line in the sand that says, when shit gets to get, the buck stops here, you will not fucking cross the boss. Or there will be consequences. What CM Punk did at the press conference, what the elite did backstage afterwards... That's a reflection of a lack of leadership from Tony Khan, plain and simple. That's a lack of respect for Tony Khan. Spin it however you want. I know a lot of you 
are big time con marks. And you know what? I appreciate the fact that the dude has the financial resources due to inherited wealth to be able to start a second major North American wrestling promotion. I'll always be thankful for that. That doesn't make him immune from criticism. But goddamn, like you want to be a Vince McMahon type, then be a Vince McMahon type. No matter what you want to say about Vince, there's one thing you never question, is at the end of the day when shit really gets to get, the buck always stopped with him and he was always the head motherfucker in charge. Always. And no matter how big somebody was, Vince always had the mindset of nobody is bigger than the WWE. You want to be like him, then sometimes it's appropriate to act like him. Sometimes it's not. But this is an example where it would be. You look like an idiot, Tony. And even with the way you respond to this afterwards, talk about all these suspensions. Well, that's great. I'm glad that happened at least. That needed to happen. And they need to be sizable suspensions. You cannot have this happen. You need to send a message. But then you sit there and, I'm just going to make a freaking world title tournament. God, you got this opportunity. The one thing you could say with all this drama was you had a ton of attention on your brand and your product. Do something with it. Capitalize on it. Let MJF go there in his promo. Let Max Casca go there in his rap, his entrance. And you didn't do any of that. You had all that chance to do something with the extra attention and interest that you've got in your product. Even though it's for the wrong reasons, yes, you could still turn that into a potential positive. And it didn't happen. I just think it's a really damn shameful thing that you're coming out, you only do a few big pay-per-views a year. That coming out of your notable late summer pay-per-view, instead of talking about MJF's return, and talking about some really good matches on that card, we're talking about behind the scenes drama that had nothing to do with the fucking show about as bad as those idiots that want to believe well this is a big work what's the work what's the point where's the payoff no it wasn't a goddamn work because why would you sit there and take away attention from what just happened at the damn show why would you take away attention from CM Punk be the world champion why would you take away attention from MJF's return why would you do any of that golly and frankly, I guess I could say as much as I'm talking about CM Punk looks like a moron here because he does. The elite look like morons here because they do outside of Adam Cole, who apparently is a sweetheart. And that sounds about right. And Tony Khan. Then you got the freaking marks in the wrestling media. They just sit there and roll with it because they think it's cool to be this close to the wrestlers. How dare you push back or actually fight back against this crap? Unbelievable, man. Like you, you're all of you. Even Tony Khan. You're fumbling your bag over Cole Cabana. He's a cool dude, I think. He's an okay wrestler. Made an okay living on the Indies and doing his own thing. But you're in the big leagues now. Act like it. CM Punk, you know better. Stop being a dick. The Elite... You guys are grown men too. Stop acting like fucking high school girls. Tony Khan, you want to be the boss? You're not going to take that fucking bullshit? Sitting there throwing Jim Crockett under the bus. He didn't have anything to freaking do with it. Instead of sitting there worried about that crap, how about you run your own damn house? You want to be the big MFer? Then act like the big MFer. Don't let this shit ever happen again. There's everybody involved, and most importantly of all, AEW, unfortunately, looks stupid.